I'm going to play something a little special. This is one of my earliest, well, this is the earliest example of one of my self-made records that I have found. This dates somewhere around June of 2000, somewhere in there. It's a test recording. And my problem is I really can't tell if it's acoustically recorded or electrically recorded. It sounds electrically recorded, but some of my electrical reco or acoustic recordings can be deceiving. Um, at this time, there was some defects in the blanks that I made. They weren't perfect. I was just happy to have something to record on. And so were other people. They, were, they had a domestic source of blanks. So this is an example of a, of a blank from 2000. Uh, one of my earliest uh, self-made blanks. This one does not smell like it actually has uh, beeswax in it. So this is a aluminum stearate and paraffin blank. There's only a very tiny bit of paraffin. It's actually very hard. I know white wax, you'd think it would be soft. But it is an aluminum formula, an aluminum stearate formula. So it is fairly, uh, it's actually pretty hard. It It's... It's, uh, you know, now I'm um, 15, almost 16 years old. So um, this is the box that I had at the time. This is my first label. Well, it was not the very first label. It was the first one that I made on my self-made blanks. Uh, it says, this cylinder record is manufactured by the New North American Phonograph Company Recording Laboratory in Lamoille, Illinois, from the year 2000 to 2001, manufacturing the patents of Thomas A. Edison, May 8, 1888, April 2, 1889, November 12, 1889, June 17, 1890, and October 18, 1892. Because I had to use those patents to create this record, some of the different things. And then it has the address of the time in Lamoille, Illinois. Uh, anybody says, oh, Sean Borey did not make cylinder records in 2000. Well, this is an example of one. I'm not going to tell you what's on here. I want you to listen to it. And you'll notice that the hi-hat, or the cymbals, I should say hand cymbals, uh, sound very clear. Bear with me. This is an early example of one of my records. trouble at the time with bubbles on the top of the blanks. So that's where you hear that sound. But it was, you know, pretty cool. That was, this has to be an early example. And also it's a test 
uh, a test that I saved, which means that it wasn't a blank that was of saleable quality of the time. But uh, if you notice that during the music, uh, the beginning where the music was, that the service noise is actually pretty, pretty good, pretty quiet. Um, is Walking with Susie, dubbed from an Edison needle type electric record. I don't, I still don't know if I did it electrically or acoustically. I remember at that time I had made a recorder that used uh, paper on the outside and then glass on the inside. So the paper would flex like a woofer on the outside and the glass would get the high frequencies giving that high, high, uh, the high frequency response. In fact, the symbols on the cylinder actually sound better than the original lateral record. 